beast man you've lost. <laughs> Never. Get the girl. <laughs> come back here, you cowards. I command you, come back. <laughs> you miserable traitors. When I get my hands... Beast Man, I'll give you ten seconds to follow your friends before I send you there myself. <laughs> Mark my words, He-Man. Someday you will wish you never heard the name Beast Man. I already wish I never heard it. And then He-Man took a step toward Beast Man. <laughs> Old Furface tripped three times trying to get out of the fortress. Thank you all for coming to the Age of the Widgets once again. We were glad to be of help. Now I must be going. And I must get back to my duties at the palace. Adam is behind in his training. We sure showed Beast Man. It'll be a long time before he tries something like that again. You better be careful, Orko. The abyss can be very dangerous. Well, to you, maybe, but I can fly. Yes, but there are great winds and mystical forces down there. The source of Skull's power is down there. Gee, it looks like it goes down a long way. It should. The abyss is bottomless. B -b bottomless uh, How can something not have a bottom? Actually, the abyss goes to the center of the planet. That qualifies as bottomless in my book. Do you want a rock to drop in the abyss? I promise you, you won't hear it hit bottom. Oh, no thanks. I have my own rock. Uh, no, I said rock, not sock. No, not clock, rock! <laughs> That's better. Hmm. Not a sound. Guess that makes it pretty bottomless. Hey, wait for me, Neeman, Sheila. Adam, Adam, not here either. I'm getting a little tired of Adam skipping my lessons. I've been looking everywhere for you. You're supposed to be... I know, I know. I'm supposed to be learning survival skills. Right. So why didn't you meet me two hours ago? To tell the truth, Teela, I didn't feel like it. What? You didn't... Look, I know I have a lot to learn. But come on, Tila, can't we have some fun once in a while? Fun? Adam, you can't waste your life just fooling around. There are too many important things to do. Well, that's what I mean. Work, work, work. It's all you ever think about. Well, I don't feel like it. But Adam, I... That will be all, Captain. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. I've never heard you talk that way to Tila. Well, she's always... Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm... I'm just tired, Cringer. But you're He-Man. Yeah, he never gets tired. But Prince Adam does. It's always study this, learn that. I'm tired of it. Well, I'm tired of being Battle Cat, but as much as I hate to say this, I'm, I'm sure glad he's around when we need him. I know, old friend. You're right. I'd just like to take a break for a while, do something relaxing for a change. Me too, but, but what about Tila? Don't worry, I'll say something to her. In the meantime, why don't we use this nice shady spot for a nap? Now you're talking. He dismissed me as if I were a, a stranger. Uh, Tila, remember, he is the Prince of Eternia. But we grew up together like brother and sister. And when was the last time you played like brother and sister? 
play? We're both grown. And why are you taking his side? I'm not taking anyone's side. Look, Tia, I'm very proud of you and the way you handle your responsibilities. But you've got to loosen up occasionally. Loosen up? Yes. Take a break. The battle at the Widget Fortress has exhausted you. Father, I'm fine. My problem is Adam. Then why not find a way of combining work with fun? Oh, thank you, Father. You've just given me an idea. Gotta run. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> thinking about what you said in the courtyard earlier, and I... Tila, I want to apologize for the way I spoke to you today. You see, I was... Tired. Y yes, I know. You don't have to apologize. You were right. It's time we had some fun for a change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you have in mind? <laughs> Trust me. Now this is more like it. Your picnic idea is just what we needed. Isn't that right, Cringer? Yeah. <laughs> you said it. Hey, fellas, the fun isn't over yet. What? What's next? Are we going to play a game or something? <laughs> As a matter of fact, we are. I'm going to hide somewhere in the forest, and you have to find me. Hey, hide and seek. We used to play that when we were kids, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> That's why I brought these. What's this for? In case you get lost. It's a homing device. Yours will be set on send, and mine will be on receive. This will help you find me in case you get hopelessly lost. Oh, don't worry about me. Worry about finding a good hiding place. <laughs> All right. Now, just give me a head start. Hey, what happens if you get lost? I don't get lost. Cringer, want to help me find Tila? You just run along and have a good time. I'll just guard the picnic basket for you. Okay, just don't work too hard. Well, I think she's had enough time. Ah, uh -huh. Tila, I'm hot on your trail. already. Good. Good, Adam. You're getting it. You just ought to hone your tracking skills. Good. He's on his way. What was that? Oh, now, who might you be? Oh, <laughs> aren't you the cutest thing? What's your name, little fella? <laughs> I think I'll call you Pookie. What do you think? Do you like the name Pookie? Ah! <laughs> Very good, Adam. You found me. But now you have to catch me. I'll catch you, all right. And this time, no head start. It was nice meeting you, Pookie. <laughs> Bye. Well, what next? What do you think I am, an acrobat? What's the matter, Adam? Can't you keep up with a girl? Pookie, I'll race you to the castle. I'll show her. She's not going to get the best of me. Oh! Tila, this isn't fun anymore. Tila! You did a better job of following me than Adam did. Let's see if Adam can track me here. We sure gave Adam a run for his money. Well, he needs the exercise. Right, Pookie? 
Pookie. Pookie! Pookie, get away from there! <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one, Pookie. You could have fallen over that edge. <laughs> well, yes, you must be careful. <laughs> oh! Oh, I must have misread the tracks. I'll bet she doubled back to Cringer. Tila? Tila? Gosh, she's not here either. Cringer, didn't Tila come back here? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Adam. <laughs> Uh, Tila? No, 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 I haven't seen her. I thought for sure she'd be here. She probably went back to the palace. Well, it doesn't seem like her to leave like that. Well, she probably got hungry. Say, isn't it almost dinner time? Almost. Maybe you're right. I, I guess she's getting back at me for giving her a hard time yesterday. <laughs> It was close. Oh, my arm. Oh, Pookie, you're all right. Well, I can't say the same for myself. I think my arm is broken. Adam, Adam! Oh, it's no use. Adam doesn't even know where I am. All right, come on, Tila. Pull yourself together. Think. Stay cool now. Oh, how are we gonna get out of this one? Oh, wait! The homing device! I'll just switch this to send, and maybe Adam... No, he won't be on receive. Besides, this transmitter isn't very strong, and oh, I have no idea how far we fell. No one knows where we are. I can't climb out with this arm, and oh, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Duncan, have you seen Tila? No, she wasn't at dinner either. Did you two have another fight? No, we got separated in the forest. I'd hoped she'd come back here. Hmm. How long has she been missing? Well, almost four hours. Duncan, I'm worried. You know, it's not like Tila to go off by herself unprepared. Wait, Duncan, she was prepared. She gave me this homing device. <laughs> it's funny, she thought I was gonna get lost. Why, this is one of the signal devices I made a while back. Look, her transmitter's on. She's trying to signal us. Perhaps. This was never meant for long distances, and the evergreen forest is on the other side of the fertile plains. I'll boost the power. We'll use the city's long-range sensors to locate her. All I have to do is adjust for this frequency and the scanner will do the rest. Is that Tila? Sure looks like it, only it's not coming from the forest. It's not? Where then? Around Castle Greyskull. Let's go. There, that will have to do. That's the way out. And we're not getting anywhere by sitting. Go! Oh! Well, then again, maybe I'd better sit. I don't get it. The source is right here, but it indicates the transmitter is still far away. Which direction? North, east, or... No direction, just here. I don't get it. Duncan, come here. I think I found something. What is it, Adam? Tila's footprints. Are you sure? Well, I should know them. I tracked her through the forest before. What are those marks? Hmm, this break is fresh. That means Tila came this way. It looks like... like she slid... Not over the edge, 
Oh no, not Tila. <laughs> Prince Adam, Mad at Arms, what brings you? What's wrong? I sense great sadness. It's Tila. Something's happened to her. We think she may have fallen into the abyss. Oh no. Tila. Tila. Where is she? She's down in the abyss. Very far down. Oh, Adam, she's hurt. Tila's hurt? I'm going after her. No, wait. He won't get very far. There are very strong updrafts. That means we can't use the sky sled to go down there. We must climb down. And I know someone better suited for the task. That's strange. I wonder what... By the power of Greyskull! but I don't intend waiting to find out. I can just get to that rock up there. The rocks on the other side are a lot easier to climb than this wall. Watch out for formations like that last one. You never know when one's going to kill you. <laughs> Hold on, Duncan. I'll pull you up. Hold on. Thank goodness you're here, He-Man. I would never have made it without you. But we still have to find Tila and get out of here safely. Tila! There she is, Duncan. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. Orko, take the rope and tie it around Tila. Take your time, Orko. Make sure the rope is secure. Get me out of here. Oh, Father, I thought I'd never see you again. Everything's going to be all right now. You know, Adam is very worried about you, Tila. Let's go home. Just a little more. <clears throat> At last. Oh, what a climb. I don't know about you, but <sighs> I could sleep for a, a week. We'll have you home in no time. You know, the strangest thing about this whole experience is my mother. Your, your mother? Well, I don't know how to explain. You're the only parent I've known. But in the middle of everything, I had this overwhelming feeling that my mother was protecting me. I felt that she loves me and wants me in her arms. She does, Tila. She does. Tila learned two extremely important lessons today. She learned it's just as important to play as it is to study and work. But it's also important to take the time to learn the rules for playing safely. Right, Duncan. Tila wandered too far away. And when she ran into trouble, there was no one around to help her or to go for help. So when you play away from family or friends, make sure someone knows where you are at all times. <laughs>